What's up YouTube? Welcome to PhD and Waves. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my crown routine and I'm going to go over how I fixed my crown area. As you could see here, this is what my crown looked like before. As you can see, there's a line in my crown. There are thinning areas in my crown. Also, there's mainly just ripples. There's no solid connections around my crown. I'm gonna show you how I took my crown from this and how I turned it into this. As you can see, there's more of a defined circle. There's more solid connections. I got rid of the line in my crown and also I filled in the thinning areas in my crown area. The main reason why my crown was so off and why it was so messed up is because I wasn't wolfing consistently. So that made me have patches and thinning areas in my crown. And also I was mainly focusing on the top and the back of my wave pattern. And what that did was it split my crown in half causing a line. The things you could do in order to improve your crown area is first you want to start wolfing. Wolfing will just give you more hair to work with so you can start developing uh, connections around your crown area. Also wolfing is going to fill in any thinning areas in your crown and it's just going to make you have a more fuller thicker crown area. Another thing you want to do for your crown area is you want to mainly mirror brush. Mirror brushing is going to help you get precise angles for your crown and it's going to help you avoid getting any lines or imbalances in your crown area. Another thing you want to do for your crown area is you want to focus on either using the tip of your brush or just doing vertical brush strokes. Uh, that's going to give you more precise angles and it's going to help you avoid splitting your crown in half or causing any imbalances in your crown. The last thing you wanna to do to improve your crown area is you wanna isolate your crown area. Basically what that means is after you get done brushing the rest of your pattern, you wanna go specifically to your crown area and target just your crown area and get smaller precise brush strokes around your crown. You basically just wanna isolate it as if it was its own side. So with all that being said, let's get right into my crown routine. I'm gonna show you everything I did in order to improve my crown area. So right now I'm actually gonna mess up my crown area so I can give you guys a full walkthrough of everything I do to improve my crown. So I'm basically gonna create a line in my crown area. All right, so here I'm just trying to create a line in my crown area. So basically I'm just combing the top and the back of my head so I could split my crown and create a line in the middle. And then later on, I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how I got rid of the line. But as you can see, it's kind of difficult for me to get the line because my crown area is pretty trained at the moment. So it did take a while for me to create a line in my crown area. So eventually I just ended up getting a hard brush to help me create the line. Uh, it did work a little bit better because the hard bristles does split your hair a little bit better. So I did see some progress in splitting my crown area. So after a couple minutes, I did end up getting a line in my crown, which is good. So later on, we're gonna work to get rid of that line. All right, so as you can see, I created a line in my crown area. Now I'm gonna show you guys my full routine on how I fix my crown area. So the first thing I do in my crown routine is I moisturize my crown area. You can use a leave-in, you can use any moisturizer. Basically what this is gonna do is, it, is it's gonna help hydrate your crown and it's gonna make things easier to move around in your crown area. So after your crown is moisturized, now you just want to get a comb to detangle your hair and to evenly spread out the moisturizer. All right, so here I'm just combing through my crown to get the product all throughout my crown area. And as you can see, the line in my crown is already disappearing. And that's just because my crown area is so trained that I could just get rid of like lines in my crown very easily. But if you're struggling with lines in your crown, just comb over that section multiple times. And over time, it should go away. But for me, since my crown is so trained, it went away like almost instantly. All right, so I just got done combing and detangling my crown area. Now I'm gonna use this detangling brush. Basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna help move my 
crown area into place. If you guys want to get one of these, link is in the description. So I really like using this detangling brush because it does a good job at moving your crown around. Also, it's a very good detangler. It's very similar to a comb, but a comb lifts up your pattern a little bit more. With this detangling brush, it kind of keeps your pattern laid down, but it also does a very good job at moving your crown around. When you're using this tool, you kind of want to mess around with your hair and you have to find a sweet spot uh, for when you're trying to form a circle in your crown area. I struggled a little bit right here with trying to find my crown again. So I just had to play with my hair a little bit to find a sweet spot so I could form a circle in my crown area. All right, so after you move your crown around with the detangling brush, you wanna move on to a hard brush. I'm using the PhD in Waves Hard Curve Brush. Basically what the hard brush is gonna do is it's gonna force your pattern to lay down and a hard brush is really gonna move around your crown in the direction that you want it to. All right, so no matter if you're using a comb or a brush, there's eight angles that you wanna focus on with your crown area. I'm gonna show you guys those eight angles right now. All right, so the first angle is just directly up. You wanna brush directly up with the tip of the brush. Then the next angle is on the right corner, right upper corner. Then after that, uh, basically on the right side, you're just gonna brush directly to the right. Then there's the bottom right corner, basically going to brush at an angle. Then after that, you're just going to go straight down with the tip of your brush. Then the next angle is on the left side. It's like the left bottom corner. You're going to brush at an angle. Then the next angle is left. You're just going to brush to the side to the left. And then the last angle is the upper left corner. You're just going to brush at like an angle upwards. Those eight angles will help you form your crown into a circle and it's gonna get rid of any lines in your crown area. All right, so after you use a hard brush to move your crown into place, you wanna use a medium or a soft brush. Right now I'm using the PhD and Wave Soft Curve Brush to start to lay my crown down even more. So I just got done brushing with the soft brush. Now I'm gonna move on to the Ziploc bag to fully lay down my crown area. I just got done with the Ziploc bag. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of a butter to my crown area to help hold everything down and to add some shine. So I just got done applying some butter and then I did the Ziploc bag again. Now I'm just gonna put on a do-rag to fully compress everything. And then I'm gonna show you guys the full results of my full crown routine. All right, you too. So I just had on my do-rag for another five to 10 minutes to make sure everything on my crown area is compressed. Now I'm gonna show you guys the full results of my crown routine. So let me show you guys what my crown is looking like after I had my do-rag on. All right, so 
as you can see, everything is laid and everything is in place. Obviously, my crown is not perfect. I still have a lot of work to do, but I think I came a long way from when my crown had a line in it and there were thinning areas. So I definitely made a lot of improvements, but I still have a long way to go. The main thing you want to focus on when you're trying to improve your crown is wolfing. Wolfing is going to fill in any thinning areas and it's just going to give you more hair to work with so you can start forming connections around your crown. The second thing you want to do is you want to focus on your angles. Like I showed you guys, those eight angles, you just want to focus on those eight angles so you could start developing a circle crown and so you avoid getting lines in your crown. Also, you want to keep your crown moisturized. This is going to prevent your crown from frizzing. Also, it's going to prevent any damage. When the hair around your crown is damaged or frizzing, it makes it harder to move your hair around. So you want to make sure your, your crown is moisturized and healthy. Also, you want to always mirror brush. Mirror brushing is going to make sure that you're getting precise angles. You don't just want to blind brush. That's just going to cause your crown to get lines in it. And it's just going to cause imbalances in your crown area. And lastly, you just want to use all the tools at your disposal. As you saw in today's video, I used the comb, I used a detangling brush, I used a hard brush to make sure everything was moving into place, and then I used a soft brush to lay everything down, and then lastly, I used a Ziploc bag and a do-rag to make sure everything was compressed. So you just want to make sure you're using all the tools at your disposal in order to improve your crown area. So with that being said, that's basically my whole crown routine. Hopefully you guys learned something in today's video. As always, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, follow PhD and Waves on all social media platforms at PhD and Waves. Also, head over to phdandwaves.com to copy your brushes and your do-rags. Use code PHD10 to get 10% off your order. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.